when you're in a hospital bed, you had a heart monitor on your top that goes like that, up and down. And we straight, that means you're dead. So life is up and down. Simple as that, you know. Hi, I'm uh, Vikram Jangurung. Uh, people call me G. I've served with uh, First Royal Green Jackets uh, for eight years. I did uh, Iraq, Kosovo, Northern Ireland, and um, Harik 10, Afghanistan in 2009, where I lost my right leg, bob knee, after being blown up by an IED. My grandfather uh, used to be in British Kirkus, so he inspired me to join um, the British Army. I was born in India, but I came here in the UK and um, just decided to join First Royal Green Jackets. Loved it every single moment. Those friends, you know, you never get that in a civilian street, I will say. The bonding you get, you know, the banter, the laugh, especially in the new um, operation like Iraq and Afghanistan. That's where you find who your true friends are. I've got injured in 3rd of August, 2009. Uh, I don't remember anything at all what happened to me on that day. I've been told uh, there was a casualty. Uh, they got uh, hit by an ID. So we went to grab the casualties. Uh, I was driving a vehicle and then just out of the a base camp, uh, I've got hit by an ID. They flew me back to Selyuk Hospital in Birmingham. I was coma for 17 days when I woke up. I saw my parents coming towards me and I just thought, what the hell do they're doing in Afghanistan? They're not supposed to be here. So when they came in, I just told them, oh, you need to go kind of thing. You can't, here, you can't be here. This is not a safe place to be. And they told me, oh, no, actually, you got injured in Afghanistan. You are in the UK now. When doctor came and I asked him uh, how long it's going to be um, to go back to my unit, and um, he told me it's going to be a long process. I said, why? He was like, oh, you're going to get prosthetic leg. And then, and I said, why a prosthetic leg? And he told me, oh, you lost your leg. And I still remember pushing my hand down, feeling my leg, and there was no leg. I lost my right leg above knee. Uh, but luckily, I have my left, left leg, but I lost 25% of my calf muscle. I used to be quite fit, but then after I had a prosthetic, not able to do what I used to do. Uh, that was a really um, low point and hard. So I had about three surgery in nine months time. And I was off the leg for 11 months, just wheelchair bound, not talking to anyone not going out, not able to play with the kids, not able to help my wife, just drinking all the time. It wasn't a nice time for me. I don't want to go back that period again, never. On Course Foundation saved my life, pretty much. I didn't pick up the golf club, I picked up my life. Uh, John Simpson, he was the founder, he randomly emailed me saying, oh, what are you doing? Just come for dinner. I want to have a chat. And I feel very lucky that I picked up that email. He offered me a part-time job in Onco's Foundation. And I started working with them, to which just getting out of the house for a couple of days makes me more happier. And then I started involving more with the guys on the event, uh, meeting them, and because um, they are on the same boat as me. They told me to go and play golf. I was always worried about my leg. People will be watching my leg. What happens if I slip? But now I've got confidence. I'll just stand on the first tee. I don't care. That's my happiest moment. You know, I can hit a bad shot, good shot, doesn't matter. I never, I never thought, you know, I'll do I will um, do any sports, but now I did Invictus last year. I play for um, sitting volleyball for GB team. So I just wanted to continue with this on-course foundation because um, I know the period where I was, 
the time. You definitely need a support. You need a hand there. I just wanted to give that same thing to the people who are coming through. Would you consider yourself a hero? <laughs> no, no way. No way. The people we lost, those are the heroes. Mm. Thankful to them who do veterans lottery. It looks like just a ten pound, but when it goes in the pot, it helps so many injured people, so many veterans. If you like to help veterans like me, please play veterans lottery.